One thing that we talked about was grass-fed. You know, really rising trend, an important trend. It applies primarily to beef, but also to dairy. And in the packaged goods market, you're even seeing popping it popping up in places like whey protein. The grass-fed beef, it has its nutritional benefits. It's a leaner um, beef, it has higher quality omegas. It also um, is a stronger flavored beef, which is often um, well appreciated and has been traditionally appreciated in countries like Argentina. It also brings in a seasonality, a regionality that consumers really appreciate. So the kind of grasses that you use, the, um, the seasons that are involved, affect the final taste of the product in a way that consumers like. They give it a sort of personality. It also goes back to really the larger, um, the, the larger move to get back to former ways of growing, of growing things, of, of treating animals. And so that grass-fed is often, is also sort of range-fed, and therefore gets back to a more traditional way of raising livestock. Another trend that we see, um, there, there's a, a constantly sort of evolving set of superfoods. We see a lot of ev emphasis on legumes, that's been well documented on pulses, on, on chickpeas, lentils, black beans being very trendy. We're also seeing purple as being a popular sort of antioxidant food color. So stuff going on with, for example, purple corn, purple cabbage, that also ties in well with the bowl trend that we talked about, or even the, the open, open face sandwiches, because the, these colors, these foods are beautiful and create a type of appetizing effect that is still nutritious and still based on the real characteristics of food. In terms of grain, we're seeing more and more sprouted grains that's sort of coming on the heels of the ancient grain trend, which has been um, in place for quite a while. It's part of sort of the rehabilitation of grains after a long period of sort of um, low carb and paleo that really took off sort of a hard look at the effect of grains. But with sprouted grains, the idea is that it releases nutrition, it increases digestibility, and so um, I think intuitively it makes for an attractive sort of um, grain product that is a little bit more like garden grown, a little bit more like produce. And we also see sprouting extending to a wider range of, 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 um, of ingredients beyond wheat to again, to legumes, um, to beans, in keeping with the larger trends favoring those types of foods.